Uh, welcome to another episode of St. Vincent and Told Stories. On this episode, we look at as a last of a volcano and we will also reveal us something uh, that St. Vincent uh, needs to know. Uh, big ups uh, to all of my subscribers. And if you are new to the channel, hit the like uh, button as a subscribe button and hit the bell icon because you are going to want to see this video and uh, many more like uh, this one so apparently uh, nemo is calling persons asking them if money is sent to them should the western union would they be able to collect it uh, so uh, several uh, persons have reached out to untold stories uh, telling us uh, that uh, Nemo called them so long ago and they haven't received anything and they are unemployed as uh, they have nothing at home whatsoever. Uh, let me be honest, all the people uh, from the red zones should get if they are giving all. Uh, what I don't understand, why isn't there a system to help out those uh, that are unemployed force? I know uh, party card holders who got already before them. Uh, that's how the system works, you know. Uh, they push up their own and make sure their own gets force. Whereas uh, they don't realize the monies are being sent to everybody. I've uh, seen receipts uh, from party card holders living in uh, private shelters, receiving their monthly salaries and getting boxes from Nemo on a weekly basis. And they are getting before the ones who can't buy food, uh, the ones who are unemployed, uh, the ones who have kids to send to school and nothing to give to them. What are you telling us? As a big man, I should have never had a say in those relief monies because we know how things is going in St. Vincent. I told you, uh, the formula uh, for the problem is simple, you know. You set up a list and Nemo knows how many persons evacuated and you do it uh, like an attendance record in schools. You said what? Miss Thomas got? Click. Miss James got? Uh, click. Uh, Miss Mitchell got? Click. Uh, Miss Gonsav got? Uh, click. And right so. And those who do not get the thick, uh, those are the ones who should get after. Uh, but uh, the way this regime works... Once you are a party card holder, they said, you know what, Miss Thomas, tick this week, next week again, tick, other week after that, tick, when there are persons with no ticks to their name at all. 87 of them who were identified as having been displaced. They are also receiving some cash money is true. Bahu. We have 610 families which we have to to assess properly. The difficulties in getting all the various contact details to do the full assessment of them. The numbers I'm telling you. I'm giving you precise numbers in families which have been assessed. The number of persons in those families or the families whom we have to assess and whom we have good reason to believe to requiring assistance to. They're working out the contact details for those families. And uh, the families which remain in the shelters, after next week, and we are talking about, we say 900 families are approximately that number. Depending on the size of the families, social development has worked out with WFP to give them a one-half payment between $300 and $450, depending on the size of the family. Uh, we uh, would see how this one goes because we know uh, that a family is a group of one or more parents and their children living together as a unit. Uh, so you hear that you will receive a one-time payment of between uh, 300 to 4 something. Uh, the reason why I played that clip. It is because we are going to hold them by the word. Uh, because by now, everyone knows uh, that that administration cannot be trusted. And the article was published uh, saying St. Vincent uh, government uh, to pay uh, persons in the red zone uh, 500 to $400 per month in income support for the rest of the year. Uh, when uh, will these monies be paid and uh, where? Uh, you guys uh, love to come on social uh, media and give press conference. Well, we need a press conference with uh, that. You are keeping persons in the dark. Imagine uh, persons in the red zones have to go to places like Ali North Union uh, to register uh, to verify that they are farmers.
uh, you have uh, the page NBC Live St. Vincent. Why not they publish it on your page? Uh, boy, I tell you, uh, these people are something else. You don't know how and when to believe them. Uh, let me ask my friend uh, Gemma. Uh, because she knows the big man very well. Uh, Gemma, when are they paying? Uh, please uh, don't take uh, my words out of context. I never said uh, that they are anything more. All I said is that uh, they are friends. And uh, she would know when they are paying because she's a close friend of the big man. It is alleged uh, that some youth uh, bust have some pow pow out at the Diamond and Stubbs area. And then some of them are the let this in. And then some men pick up some car. Uh, when I say car, I'm not talking about roast corn or bile corn. I'm talking about hot corn. Uh, you ever made a mistake and try to take up a hot fire in your pan? Uh, that is the kind of heat I am talking about. Uh, the allegations are uh, uh, that the police came on the scene and they went out uh, to the polyclinic. And one of the men who pick up a hot corn explained and uh, said that he knows uh, the location of the men who beat off the popo. Uh, the police uh, responded swiftly and they went down an ends and uh, saw some man hanging out in a group. Uh, so uh, the officers conducted a search on the men and one of the youth was standing by a one and when he saw the officers he dropped down something behind the wall. Uh, so uh, the officer said, where you have there, boy? And the boy said, it's some puff, puff, and uh, nothing more, sir. Uh, but uh, the officer suspected something, and he didn't really believe the boy, uh, so he went uh, behind the wall. When he opened the bag, he saw a rusty piece of iron uh, taped up together. It was a makeshift popo. Uh, the officer uh, checked uh, the popo and uh, saw uh, that there was a corn in the head. He cautioned uh, the boy and the boy started uh, to talk right away. He got scared. He said, officer, is a youth named Chippy I got it from. And uh, uh, Chippy got it from a youth uh, named Poe Bag. Uh, so uh, the officers went and they looked for Chippy and they found him. And the chippy said, no, sir, I mean, I know what I'm talk about. Uh, that and our minds. Uh, so, uh, the youth said, now worry yourself, man. We're going for power bag. And when we go check on the house, the power bag, they pay the same youth live. Uh, he pick up a man and I say that at the power bag. Uh, so the allegations are uh, that when they were in the jeep, uh, power bag said, boy, uh, so don't they call my name. I don't know what you are talking about. If you make uh, me get locked up innocent, uh, there will be consequences. Uh, when the youth heard the word, uh, consequences, him say, officer, officer, uh, that's not uh, the power bag. Uh, the power bag I am talking about looks different. Uh, so, uh, the boy was cautioned again and taken uh, to the station. He went uh, to court and his statement uh, some contrary uh, to what uh, the officers identified. Uh, so he was given a sentence of two years uh, plus. Uh, so you see uh, what happened uh, to the youth and what the youth uh, said. Uh, that is the situation uh, that we are in today. Uh, we have uh, these little boys uh, pushing mouths uh, longer than broomstick and bala who fish want to be an ends with a big man. And when the police come and hold uh, them, uh, they can't even hold uh, their bellies. Uh, those big men who he alleged gave him that popo should be thankful uh, that this is not uh, places like America where the FBI conducts investigation. You need to get these little boys off of these ends uh, Cause if you notice It is gonna end up in a situation where When he comes out uh, The men are going to say uh, that he sold uh, them out And he might get in another mix up again So he has to do time uh, Plus he has to come out again And face the consequences uh, Because they are going to call him a rat uh, Mothers warn your daughters uh, Fathers warn your son uh, that was the advice of Barrington Levy. With uh, that being said, I just want to big up the population in St. Vincent and the Grenadines, uh, the regional islands and the international countries who are praying and uh, supporting us at uh, this time. We thank you. I'm out.